Hi guys, welcome to Sundays with Summit Health. This is Coach Katie here this week, and the topic I want to talk about this week is can you eat healthy and meet your goals without, you know, following recipes, large batch cooking, or spending a ton of time in the kitchen? And the answer to that is yes, you can. I am a huge advocate for that. Um, I very, very rarely will batch cook anything. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't like eating a hamburger that I cooked maybe three or four days ago. I would rather have my meat fresh. I'd rather have my veggies freshly grilled. Um, it just kind of depends on your, the lifestyle that you live in if, and your preferences. So I'm just going to kind of go through a few kind of quick tips or maybe um, even some brand examples of like if you're shopping at Aldi or Target or maybe even Costco, um, just some staples that I usually have in the house and how I can commonly meet my goals and hopefully some of them will work out for you and if you want to in implement them, um, I hope you can and let me know. So for, for the first point that I want to talk about is when you're looking at pre-cooked or pre-packaged foods, um, the one thing I always do first is look at the ingredient list. Um, even if it's just a simple, you know, one of those minute bag of rice, Prices, um, go ahead and look on the back of that because a lot of the times it's more than just the one ingredient you think it is, which is rice. Um, try to keep the ingredient list somewhere between that 10 to 15 range. Try for the lower end. Um, one thing I like to tell a lot of my clients is keep it short and sweet or does the ingredient list look like a CVS receipt? If it's looking like a CVS receipt, you probably want to pass on that. Um, when buying fresh, pick out options that appeal to your taste and um, a good rule of thumb is if you can eat it both raw and cooked, you're probably going to use it a lot more. Um, for example, for me, um, those mini sweet peppers that I buy at Aldi's, um, I love getting those. I know that I can grill them, throw them in my air fryer, or if I even want to eat them raw, um, I know that's just going to be kind of a staple. Um, when you're looking for a pre-cut in... Um, fruit and veggies, go right ahead and use those. Um, I know they're sometimes they're a little bit more costly, but if it's saving you time in the kitchen and you can put you know more time towards your kids, your family, or your job or a hobby, um, all the more power to you. Um, I know in our house we love those pre-cut apples that I can find at Walmart, and then um, butternut squash in the freezer section at Aldi, or I think they even have it fresh at walmart i love throwing that in my air fryer just season it throw um put some olive oil spray on it throw it in and it's done in like 20 minutes if that um um and one big thing i want to say is when it comes to like vegetables if you don't want to eat them fresh plot twist you don't have to i love and i mean love <laughs> buying uh, Freezer section vegetables. I'll buy the the steam bags um, at Costco. I'll buy the big bag of mixed vegetables, and other um, and I have a little steamer at home. You can buy a steamer on Amazon. Um, you can probably find it at any store really around here. Um, that's just as good. That's gonna help you meet your goals. Um, I think they taste just as good. Um, a little salt and pepper, and if you have a seasoning that works on vegetables, usually you can do that. Um, it probably won't taste as the same as it would like if you're grilling them or sauteing them, but I mean, it's just another option for you. Um, I probably use steamable vegetables at almost, I'll probably, I would say at least 95% of my meals. Um, and another great thing about using like freezer baked vegetables that I want to point out is that usually it's more than just one vegetable that, that you are getting in them. Um, anywhere from probably two to three vegetables in there. So if you're trying to even increase or your variety in vegetables, that is a awesome way to try to meet your vegetable goals. Um, another thing that I wanna talk about also is investing in a toaster oven. I have a, and I can put a link below in the video also. Um, I have a cuisine art kind of toaster air fryer oven. I am not kidding. I don't even think I use my oven anymore. I use this thing 
at least three times a day. Um, also, my husband uses it. I mean, we cook everything in there. It basically works as an oven, um, just kind of like, you know, your normal toaster oven. Um, it has an air fryer option, and the food tastes great that comes out of it. I even think we probably need to invest in a new one because we use ours so much that it, um, it's just kind of in rough shape right now. But I would highly suggest getting one of those if you want to save some more time in the kitchen. Um, I would say all of my meals when I cook with that, under 25 minutes easily, under 25 minutes every single time. And that's with cooking, like cut up vegetables, um, cut up potatoes, putting a burger in there. It's great. Um, another option kind of on the topic of that, and maybe if any of you actually have one of these, talk to me because I am very interested in investing in one of these. But I would like you guys to look up what a Brava oven is, and that's B-R-A-V-A -A oven. It just looks really cool. It looks kind of fancy. It's supposed to replace basically your oven. It kind of reminds me of like your toaster air fryer. Um, but it has like some smart uh, smartphone features so you can kind of look at how your food is doing in there. Um, they have... Um, sorry, but recipes and it's just kind of cool. I'm very intrigued by it. Um, <laughs> okay, but going on after that. Um, and of course, you know, always um, buying in bulk versus um, or even single serve containers like the little guacamoles, overnight oats. You can buy um, usually in a package of, you know, four, two or four. Um, and I kind of already talked about this, the microwavable rice packets. Um, I know Aldi, they have a ton of different 90 second, um, like rices or kiwan. Um, there's a seven grain blend also. I use that one quite a bit. And that's great because you can use it. Um, usually I'll kind of cut it in half. So I'll eat half maybe for my lunch. And then I can save the other half of that in the fridge and then reheat it for supper. So those work great. Um, let's see here. I'm just taking a look at my notes. Um, here's another good one. And it took me kind of a while to figure this one out. Um, actively look for more convenient options for the foods that you already enjoy. So an example of mine that kind of touches on that is that I like rice. Um, you know, I'll use it for two, or, two to three of my meals a day. So I started out by just batch cooking brown rice on my stove, and that takes about 45 minutes to cook. And we're talking, I think I would do two cups of the um, grains at a time. So that would take me 45 minutes. Well, since I switched to cooking jasmine rice, it takes me 15 minutes now. That's how long jasmine rice takes to cook. And usually a big batch like that will last me at least probably three to four days, depending on how much I'm using it. So let's move on to some brand exam examples. And if you actually have any of your favorite brands, please post them in the comments. Um, for shopping at Aldi, um, the Fit and Active, the Never Any, and oh gosh, they have so many products for those. Um, I really like the chicken apple sausages of the Never Any. I get those pretty much weekly. Um, Simply Nature, that's the brand at Aldi that, I'll, that I like to use for like the 90 second grains that they have. Um, at Target, um, Good and Gather, I like a lot of their products. Um, I actually do a lot of their frozen vegetables. Um, and Veggies Made Great, which you can also find at Target and Costco. Um, for those, they have kind of like the little egg frittatas that you can just, they're, I think there's like 20 of them in a box if you're get, getting them at Costco. But they have like egg white frittatas, and then they also have um, vegetable kind of made muffins, which are awesome if you have not had those. I think right now they have the banana chocolate chip and I just ran out of my box unfortunately but they are so good. I would highly recommend looking into those. Um, let's look at some Hy-Vee and also Costco options. Um, Adele's, their meatballs and chicken sausages are amazing. Um, the Amy Lou chicken sausages are awesome. Um, another one but this is more so um, 
I think you can find these at Target. Um, I know I've seen them a few times at Aldi, so maybe it's just kind of a every now and then kind of thing. Um, but they are overnight oats. Um, one brand is Breaky, and that's B-R-E-K-K-I, or Mush. I love their overnight oats, and I mean, I'll eat them for breakfast, but usually I actually love them for post-workouts just because I, I'm not a shake person. Maybe you are, um, but I like to just take one out, put it in a bowl. Um, I'll put some protein powder in with it. And then even if I want like a cut banana or something, but it just saves me a ton of time because I don't know about you, but when I'm done working out, I'm just kind of brain dead. <laughs> I don't want to think or do much of anything. I just want something easy and good to eat. And those actually have some awesome macros and um, an ingredient list that is awesome. So I would definitely look into those if that's something that would interest you. Um, also at Hy-Vee, Target, Costco, Kevin's Naturals, all of their um, meats, those are pretty good. I've had those quite a few times. Um, also, um, I haven't seen these around quite a bit. Um, just a few times I think I've seen them at Aldi and maybe Costco, but Dell Real Foods. Um, I think they even have them at Walmart sometimes, but I mean, they, besides meats, I think they also do like a, a rice option as well. And I know that those are really good. Um, also at Walmart, Sam's Choice. Um, I know they have some almond butters that are really good and also some apple chicken sausages that are already pre-cooked and awesome. Um, and then also Perfect Bars. Um, if you've heard of those, you can find those pretty much anywhere. Um, I know I've seen them at all the um, gas stations. It's a pretty easy thing to find. Those are um, very cal calorically dense. So um, just kind of like a quick, if, maybe if you missed your lunch or something. Um, I pick those up every once in a while, but I try to kind of steer away from those just because I know it's not going to fill me up for that long. Um, and then even if you're looking into options for like a full kind of on full on um, meal that's like frozen, um, power plate meals and factor meals, I've used both of those. They're kind of like a meal prep service, if you want to call it that. Um, usually we'll have a couple of those in the freezer at any given point. Um, they work great for when we go camping just to make sure that we're getting a good meal in. Um, and then even, you know, just on those nights that maybe you don't want to even spend 20 minutes or 15 minutes to cook something. Um, they just kind of work great when you're in a pinch, but you want something really good. So I just want to end this by just kind of talking about some staples that you could maybe keep in your house that are really easy to cook up. Um, like I already said, the quick cooking rice that takes about, you know, 90 seconds to cook. Um, when I go to Costco, I get the big bag of um, the little creamer potatoes, I think they call them. Um, I love keeping those around just because you can cut them up, spray them with some olive oil, throw them in the oven or air fryer, and they're done pretty quick. Um, I know they also have those. I've seen have seen them at Aldi and Costco before, but they'll have them in a microwavable bag even already seasoned, and they only take a couple minutes, so that's good. Um, like I said, frozen steamable vegetables of any kind, um, ground beef, burgers, tacos, um, works great. Chicken sausages, you can find pretty much anywhere, and they're almost always pre-cooked. I don't think I've ever seen them not. Um, another one, especially that you can find at Costco that everyone in the house will love is the gluten-free chicken nuggets, um, overnight oats, protein powder, uh, nut butter, guacamole cups, and then just even some easy fruit and vegetables to eat, you know, like bananas, pre-cut apples, um, the little cutie oranges, perfect. And then last but not least, pre-cooked bacon. That is definitely a favorite of everyone's. Might not be as good as, you know, fried bacon that you make for breakfast on Sundays, but it works great in a pinch. Well, I hope that this helps you guys out. I hope that you took away maybe a little tip or two to make cooking um, easier as we kind of head into those warmer months when you're not spending a ton of time in the kitchen, you're more outside. Um, I'm a huge advocate, like I said, for hashtag cooking is canceled. Um, if you need any other tips, please reach out to me. I am more than 
um, happy to help you. But I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Um, the weather looks like it's beautiful outside. I just got done hosting a baby shower, so I haven't really got to go out there. I just know it's really windy, but when I did step out there, it seemed, I mean, at least decently kind of warm. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great weekend. We will talk later.